Okay? So let's look at question number one, a question on a topic, the human body. The following diagram shows the fetus at nine months. So we have uh, the parts of a pregnant woman which are labeled G, placenta, H, uterus, I, amniotic fluid, J, fetus, K, amnion sac, and L, cervix. Question A. Identify the parts labeled Roman numero one. G. So G is the placenta. G placenta. Roman numero two. I. I is the amniotic fluid. Okay. Question B. Explain one function of the structure labeled L during pregnancy. So the part labeled L we said is the cervix. So the function of the cervix is to prevent miscarriage. To prevent miscarriage, question C. Describe what happens to the following structures in order for birth to take place. So K, what happens to, to K for birth to take place? So K we said is the amnon sac. So for birth to take place, the amnon sac bursts. So it bursts, that is what we call the breaking of the waters. So you just say it bursts. Then, question number numero two, it's saying, explain what happens to the structure H for birth to take place. So H is the uterus. So what happens? The uterus contracts, which helps the cervix to open. So it contracts, helping the cervix to open. Question D, what is the period in weeks from fertilization to birth? So the period in weeks from fertilization to birth, they're simply talking about gestation period, which is the length of time between fertilization and birth. Okay, so the length in terms of the weeks is 40 weeks. So the answer is 40 weeks. But if the question was, what is the period in months? The period in months is nine months. And then the period in days is 280 days. So now in this case, what is the period in weeks from fertilization to birth? The answer is 40 weeks. Okay. So let's move on to question number two.